What's up, 819S? I'm riding down Route 246 now because I want to introduce my new favorite place to ride in Kanagawa Prefecture. It makes me wish I bought a street bike instead of a dual sport and you'll see why when I get there. The place I'm headed to, it's behind these mountains. And today it's still a little bit hazy, so we might not have the best view from up there, but we should have a pretty spectacular view. Ah, it's gonna be awesome. Check it out. Kiyokawa, that's where we'll end up, you'll see it. So there's one trick when you're coming down Route 246, if you've never come this way before, be careful. The sign shows 246 going straight to Numazu and Hiratsuka, but you're actually gonna wanna get into the leftmost lane to turn to Route 246, because the road, if you stay straight, will take you to Route 129, and I'll show you in a minute. As you can see, it still says 246, Numazu, and Hiratsuka. 246. Awesome, awesome mini. Mini minor. Mini minor. It's so small. My motorcycle is taller than this guy's car. Such a sweet car. So this blue sign up on the road, up in front of me here, is the important point. To Numazu Isehara, go to the left lane. This is where you want to be. If you stay in the lane that I'm in now in the center, you're gonna go to Route 129 and head to Hiratsuka. So I need to move over. Shigasaki Hiratsuka goes straight. Numazu Isehara is the one that kind of veers off to the left and then loops back around under 129. Bye bye Morris Minor, a mini, mini Morris. So that's 129 above us, we're on 246 still. If you're coming out this way from Tokyo area, be careful. Tsurumaki Onsen. Writing art. Maps. Awesome shop for getting gear. Motorcycle stuff. It's gotten really green and a lot of the haze is gone, so I'm really happy I came out this way today. So up here, there's a place called Zemba Tunnel. If you turn before the tunnel and go up the back roads, if you turn left, you can go through the old Zemba Tunnel. The old Zemba Tunnel is one of the most famous uh, ghost ghost hunting spots in Kanagawa Prefecture. Is it worth it to turn and, and take a look at the old Zemba Tunnel? I guess if you're into ghost hunting spots and stuff like that it is, but otherwise not really, just stay on 246. This Ted special place looks cool too, I want to check it out one day. It, it looks like they do a lot of old restorations of Hondas. So now we're about to go through New Zemba Tunnel. As I said, if you make a turn, I haven't actually tried it coming from it on this side, but I believe if you turn here, you can get up through Old Zemba Tunnel. This is New Zemba Tunnel. And I want to slow down a little bit because the one thing that hit me when I first came down Route 246 was when you come out of New Zemba Tunnel, you get the most uh, amazing view. If it's a clear day, you can see Mount Fuji spectacularly. There is Mount Fuji right there in front of me. It's a little bit overcast and I'm in Harano City now. There it is. And there's Harano City. So this sign right here, this is your turn. Yabitsu Pass, Route 70. Here it is. And there's a Shell gas station right outside the pass. You can see it from here. 
that's good if you need to fill up just before you just before you head on to the pass or maybe if you're just coming off if you're coming from the other way that's it right up the road here So the beginning of the road is uh, houses and a little bit of construction right now. Uh, there's some factories and companies and stuff around here. It's a prefectural route 70. The fun starts once we get past all of this and there'll be a really clear distinct division between the, the fun part and just the normal street that people would take, you know, to work or whatever. So as the sign showed back there, this road is called Yabitsu Toge. Yabitsu Toge. Toge is a mountain pass. It's usually between two mountains and zigzags back and forth between the mountains so that people can get by. I haven't had a lot of experiences. I've ridden on a few places that were Toge's and the one I went through was definitely a drift road because there was just rubber all over the roads. Uh, it was in Yamanashi Prefecture and it was so fun to ride on a motorcycle too. But it's a little bit farther from my house. There's a lot of bicyclists that ride this road. The climb is supposed to be really intense. Uh, one person told me from the city to the top of the mountain, it was about a four hour bicycle ride climbing the whole way so I guess if you're really looking to do some stamina or endurance training that's the place that's the place to do it Beautiful. And here it is. Now it just changes to a fun road. From here, there's not really that much. There's a temple, there's a very small park, there are some fishing spots along the way, but they're not really there's not really anything else around here. It's just green and beautiful, has a lovely mountain scent. Why do I love this road so much? One, it's really, it's in really good condition. Look how nice the asphalt is. Look how well taken care of the road is. It's really great. Two, it's very, uh, I've only been here. This is my second time here. And there are not that many cars, there's not that many bikes here. I heard on the weekend it might be a little bit different. So, your mileage may vary. The other reason, I just love flicking my bike back and forth around these turns. They're really awesome hairpin turns. They're really awesome double apex turns. There's just so much fun riding on this road.
I don't think you can get the full enjoyment of this road on a dual sport. I mean, it's very, very fun on a dual sport, but I think if you have a bike with street tires on it where you don't really get as worried about leaning it over, I really don't like to lean it over with these knobbies. I've had a few cases where the bike started sliding. Not scary sliding, but you know, a little bit more than that and it becomes scary. So if I could really lean it over like a street bike, that would be awesome. There are some rough patches because around here there's some uh, forestry service work being done and the big trucks really tear the road up. But the majority of the road is in really great condition. Ah, a little construction. Oh, nope, sorry. This is the temple. Beautiful flowers, wonderful smell. Just the smell of this area is just mountainous and spectacular. Oh, it's a great view today. Okay, so just past the construction, if you come here in, in early summer this year, 2017, there's probably going to be some construction. And then just past the construction, you'll find this really spectacular park. Why do I say spectacular? Because you get one of the most amazing views. Check this view out. It's still a little bit hazy, so you don't get the best, best, best possible view, but man, is it awesome. And we can't see Mount Fuji because there's trees in the way, but there's a tower over there. If you go through the tower and climb up it, you can see Mount Fuji. Now this red side with the triangle, it actually says uh, exit. It's the side that you climb down. Let's climb up this thing. And it's a little cloudy right now, but there's Mount Fuji right in front of me.
Alright. I'm gonna take the helmet off and take a break for a little while. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it. There'll be a part two coming next. <laughs>